and what God has him doing. Uh, let's, let's remember to pray for Sister Bonita. She's a, a, a helper up there with Brother Philip Williamson in Pikeville. Pray for her that God would continue to use her and her ministry. Uh, let's just remember to pray for each and every one. Amen. That, uh, that God puts upon your heart tonight. Before you close your eyes, take the time to pray for the needs of others. Call out their name to God. You see, God loves to hear from you. He knows the thoughts on your mind and in your heart, but speak it. We have not because we ask not. Speak it. Go boldly before the throne room of God and speak boldness such with the Holy Ghost as we ought. Take it to the Lord in prayer, my friends. Amen. Um, let's remember Pastor Jordan up there. Uh, amen. Um, that uh, he continue to do what God would have him to do as uh, he reaches out to uh, minister in that community. And, and his wife, uh, uh, Sister Rachel, uh, she uh, packs an anointing, uh, such an awesome prayer warrior. And, and my God, that God just continue to use them as they work with Brother uh, Monroe and Brother Jesse. And, well, just whomever the Lord sends into their lives, that they would just uh, continue to let their light shine bright in that community that those that are lost and in the darkness can come into the love and grace of Jesus. Amen. Uh, pray for this spring coming up. Many revivals in many different areas that uh, many souls be won into the body of Christ. Amen. If they just won, it makes it worth every step and every uh, attack of the enemy that you go through, my friends. Amen. Remember to pray for me, the old evangelist, Brother Eddie Cheney, and my family, that we would be found doing what God would have us to do, going where God would have us to go, and always saying what God would have us to say. I never want to fall into the trap of tickling ear ministry. I never want to tickle ears just so people will listen. I never want to tickle ears just so people will like me. I don't want to get into that trap, that form of religion that would send you to hell. You see, I want to stay true to the gospel. I want to stay true to my Lord and Savior. I'm striving to be Christ-like trying to separate myself from sin each and every day as I pick up my cross and I follow at her Jesus. Just a willing vessel that's jumped up on the potter's wheel and saying, Lord, shape me and make me, mold me into what you would have me to be. And as I open my mouth, allow your words to go forth. For Lord, we know that your words will not return void. And if we do that each and every day of our life, each and every moment of our life, if we apply the word of God to our life, then we're a doer, and we'll one day stand before Jesus, and he'll say, enter in, my well and faithful servant. My God, won't that be a precious moment? I'm telling you, the Lord loves you, my friends, and we love you. We're going to play it off the air with this next song, and, and just remember to continue to watch on Facebook for the programs to pop up. Uh, amen. We're, we're trying to figure out ways to get them in earlier as I get off work and things. Uh, I know some of you set up pretty late, but I know the archives is out there available at any time you want to listen to the program again or new people listen at all hours of the day. So we're just going to continue to obey God and, and allow God to take this program and do with it his will. His will be done here on earth as it is in heaven. His will. So all we can do is continue to show up, be a willing vessel, and allow the Lord to do what only he can do and what he does best is to reach out to the wounded, the hurt, the afflicted, those that are addicted, those that are, well, that feel their way below the bottom, but the Lord can reach them. We love you guys. God bless each and every one of you. Please continue to pray for the ministry, the radio ministry, uh, that the Lord would send labors and help into the radio ministry and the Project Reach Out. Um, we're not getting much response on Project Reach Out, uh, but we, we are getting a little. I want to thank those of you that are faithful, 
God's going to grow it. If you can hang in there and be faithful, I will too. I'm going to, whether you do or not. The truth is I'm going to do it whether you do or not. Don't matter. Uh, but uh, God told me to tell you to pray and be faithful with $5 a month. Those of you that do that, you'll see. Uh, God said, uh, I'm telling you, you're going to be blessed in ways you can't even begin to imagine. Uh, it's time to put our hands to the plow. It's time to get faithful with the least and allow God to make you ruler of the much. They are souls hanging in the balance. They are people that need help right there in your community, right there in your county, right there in your neighborhood. Remember this. If you see a need and you shut up the bowels of compassion, how dwelleth the love of God in you, my friend? Make a difference. Leave your light on. Don't put a bushel over it. Let it shine. You may be the only gospel your neighbor gets to hear or see, my friend. We don't want their blood required on our hands, so stand bright, tell them the truth, and love the hell right out of them. If you do that, you've done a lot. Amen. All right, guys, we love you. <laughs> Be good. We'll see you next time right here on Evangelist Eddie Cheney Radio saying, I'm still standing. I can't say it's been easy since I made my decision. To follow him and turn my life around But he's been faithful To help me when I struggle And always picks me up when I'm down Those who knew me They said I'd never make it They were judging from the failures in my past Faithfulness has proved There's no way that I can lose This time I got something That's gonna last I'm still standing Just like I said I would The weather said I couldn't His word said I could As I go from day to day But I'm determined I won't turn around No matter what it brings my way And there were times he knocked me down But I landed on my knees And that's where I grew stronger And claimed another victory I'm still standing Just like I said I would said I couldn't, this word said I could, and though my mind grow weary in the battle that I face, I'm still standing, because of His amazing grace. I stood through the fire, and I stood through the flood, and the reason I'm still standing. Yeah.